an amateur genealogist from Maine has been building her extended family tree. So as you can imagine, she was thrilled when Ancestry.com matched her to a new third cousin. That third cousin was adopted and never knew her birth parents, so the two set out to figure out who they were. But that research led them to a strange place. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen joins us now to explain. Hannah? Hi, Amanda. Well, it certainly did. It's something out of a true crime documentary. Their search took them to the FBI's most wanted list. And they learned this woman's biological father is still likely in hiding today, accused of gruesomely murdering his family. It started June 1st, 2017. We were on the phone by the end of that day, and I knew she was an adoptee, and I knew I could help her. As a self-proclaimed armchair genealogist, Susan Gilmore of Portland was eager to help her newly discovered third cousin, Kathy Gilcrest, learn about her biological parents. It did take about a year for us to figure out who her birth mother was. Then, after extensive DNA tracing and speaking with distant relatives, Susan also found a name for Kathy's father. I came up with an FBI wanted poster for William Bradford Bishop Jr. And I don't know how long I sat there, just... <laughs> According to the FBI bulletin, William Bradford Bishop Jr. is wanted for allegedly bludgeoning his wife, mother, and three sons to death in Bethesda, Maryland back in 1976. The boys were 14, 10, and five years old. I went back to double check, triple check, to check locations to make sure it was possible. It all fit. Susan believes Kathy's birth mother met Bishop at a college party while he was a student at Yale. And Kathy looked just like him. She looks so much like him. Speaking with an NBC affiliate in her home state of North Carolina, Kathy says her gut reaction was shock. I just laughed. I laughed. We have a great sense of humor in my um, adoptive family. And um, I thought, of course my father's a murderer. But Susan Gilmore says the horror of the story isn't lost on either of them. She fully feels the sadness of these brothers she never got to meet. A silver lining, the Bishop family has now gained a new family member, easing some of the pain they felt after that horrific day in 1976. And they are thrilled to find her. They've been living with the heartache of the loss of people they loved. And now there's this bright light, this bright spot in that heartache story. Well, William Bradford, he's highly educated, fluent in multiple languages. The FBI believes he used his language skills to escape to and hide in Europe over the last several decades. Today, he'd be 84. What a story, Hannah. Are Kathy and Susan concerned at all about their safety? Because they are speaking out about a wanted murderer. I asked them that, Amanda. So the FBI did approach Kathy, and they believe it's very unlikely Bishop would come out of hiding for any reason, if he's even still alive. But Susan says she imagines if he is alive, he's likely not too pleased with all the publicity this new discovery is bringing to the case. And Pat and Amanda, I should mention, Kathy recently published a book called It's In My Genes that dives deeper into this wild story. Just incredible. Hannah, thank you.